as some of you follow me on Instagram, some of you will know that my dad is in hospital. Um, he is okay, but the last like few days be very, very, very intense and emotional. Um, so just again, as a brief, my dad has um, diabetes and his kidneys are now functioning at, well, they were functioning at about 11% both of his kidneys and on sun well he's actually been in hospital the past week three times he's been taken in so he's gone in come out gone back in come out and then gone back in he's in that for like a while so um on sunday it was the third time he went into hospital with like breathlessness and just struggling to get oxygen and he had like fluid on his lungs from before and they thought he had pneumonia then they tested him for coronavirus and there was just like so much going on and then they did the coronavirus test wrong then they had to do it again and for like the whole ward like the whole hospital they had to do the coronavirus test again because they did they admitted that they did it wrong so obviously we were like has he got pneumonia has he got um coronavirus like we were all just like stressing out and obviously with the situation not being able to visit your family like we were just in absolute bits so he went back in on sunday and this was like the worst day for all of us um we were basically told by the consultant like he is in such a bad state do you not expect him to come out of hospital and on sunday me my mom and my brother were like in absolute hysterics and i was we were like honestly we were i don't even really want to talk about it because i'll get emotional but we it was the worst day we did not think my dad would be surviving that day um so that was that and we were told that his kidneys had crashed so they had pretty much halved so he, his kidneys like do not work at all so what happened is his potassium levels in his body completely got way out of control um all the fluid on his lungs were building up which is why he couldn't breathe um so all they had to rig him up to a, a filtration machine which is not dialysis exactly but it's something that will clean and filter your blood it's like hemofiltration i want to say it's called so he was rigged up to that, put on oxygen um, all day Sunday. Monday comes around and he's like FaceTiming us, bless him. And thank God for technology. And I'm so grateful. Like this is a time where you are just so grateful for like technology that you can FaceTime because you can't see your own family in hospital, which is the hardest thing. So Monday came and he was a lot better Monday, which like thank god and he was actually asking for food he was like so hungry he, he just seemed a lot better still on oxygen but he just seemed a lot better um and then tuesday which was yesterday he had a bad day again but this was pretty much because everything happened so quick for him he was taken in on sunday again and it just happened so quick and it's like he his brain hasn't had time to process everything that's going on so yesterday was probably like the realization for him and obviously the fact that he's just a little bit confused because of obviously what's happened to his body um and the lack of oxygen so it's him yesterday coming to terms with what's going on so he's very confused he had a headache all day um his fluid started coming back on his lungs his blood pressure was very high but the the nurses gave him blood pressure and uh, medication to bring it down which the same medication actually allows the fluid to like basically the build up of not allow the build up of fluid on his lungs so the kind of medication works two in one had a bit of a bad day yesterday so i was i was still quite positive yesterday that he was like gonna be fine um and then this morning so wednesday um he's absolutely fine again and he might be well he will have to be transferred to oxford the john radcliffe hospital because they have a specialist kidney renal unit there so what he has to have done is what he was going to have done anyway within the next few weeks, but it's just happened so quick for him. Is he, It's called a fistula. Now, a fistula is where you, they join two veins in your arm together, and that allows for the dialysis, so for like the tube for the dialysis to go in and obviously filter all your blood, basically like what your kidney does, but on a machine. So he's having that done. That's like the next step. It's just him getting from Wexham to the John Radcliffe, which... Again, yesterday, I think it's just like his brain was just couldn't like keep up with it all and the journey is just like, just a little bit too much for him. Today he is in a lot better spirits. It's just, as you can tell, like, or as, yeah, as you can imagine, it's just been a huge roller coaster of emotions. Like, one day he's fine, one day he's not fine. And obviously it's affected like my mom, my brother, and myself. And my other family members, of course. 
So I just like want to thank everyone for their support so much. Like I'm genuinely so so grateful. Um, I also am so grateful for my boyfriend and his family as well. Like they have just been so good, and I was quarantining with them. Um, but obviously, since due to my dad not being here, and obviously the emotions with my mum and my brother, I have decided to come back home and moved all my stuff back home um, temporarily whilst my dad isn't here like when my dad's back i will be going back to ben's like to, to like live the rest of lockdown i just need to be here like for my mum and my brother so that's like the plan me and ben have not broken up <laughs> i'm getting quite a few messages of people being like and i think they're messaging ben and saying like if you and shannon broken up like we are absolutely fine like genuinely this lockdown has just brought us together like i genuinely could not imagine like, i honestly thought that this lockdown would be you know living together we've never like lived as much as we we've never been together as much as we have been together in this lockdown and i thought we'd, it would be like tense we'd have arguments and probably break up but <laughs> it's kind of proved to us like how much we genuinely do like love each other and um when i'm not with him like i just want to be with him so yeah i'm not gonna get too soppy but i am so so thankful for ben and he has been so so good with everything and supporting me and stuff like that so things are looking positive with my dad so thank you again for so much for the support for the messages and obviously like the messages for my dad and all the speedy recovery and he is such a fire to my dad so i am positive that he is going to be coming up hospital in the next couple of weeks hopefully just needs to get a strike back and get the operation done and stuff and yeah the dialysis happens three times a week so he has to go in to the hospital three times a week to have it done there's like a whole new lifestyle for him as well but in the long run he'll have way more energy fingers crossed and he'll be like a different person so that's the update thank you so much for listening if you have any questions about anything let me know but yeah i just wanted to give everyone an update so it's all like out there and yeah that's all done